And off to that story that'll give you goosebumps. You've probably heard about the new Ghostbusters remake. In Hollywood, the supernatural's all the rage. But what about you? Do you really believe in ghosts? Before you laugh off that question, there are some people who take it very seriously. Seriously enough, they seek it out. New this morning in a story you'll only see on three. News series Greg Lloyd joining us live in the studio to introduce us to some people who say it's their business. Morning. Morning, Christina. Did you know the second most haunted place in the southeastern United States is said to be in Ashburn, Georgia? At least that's according to amateur and professional ghost hunters alike who seek out such places as the Crime and Punishment Museum for the thrill of a possible encounter with the supernatural. The last rays of the steamy July sun fade in the western sky as Ashburn says goodbye to daylight and prepares to usher in a cooler summer evening. But this particular night, to say that everyone is hoping for a calm evening wouldn't exactly be the truth. I, I'm just really hoping that there's going to be a lot of activity tonight. Welcome to the Crime and Punishment Museum, a structure impressive in stature, historically too, but those things pale in comparison to its reputation. A lot of people will not step foot in this place. Uh, they believe this place is definitely haunted. The KY Ghost and Paranormal Investigation Team has traveled here from Florida to investigate the building, known among ghost hunters as the second most haunted location in the southeastern United States. It's the type of publicity some towns might shy away from, but the type Ashburn is not shy to accept. Oh, no, absolutely not. Any publicity is a good thing for something like this. As the dark veil of night has fully fallen upon the jail, it's now time for the ghost hunt to get underway. The landmark was built in 1906 and served as the county's jail until 1994. Prisoners were housed here and some died from this very spot. Miles Cribbs, the more infamous among them, a man convicted of his mother-in-law's murder, took his last gasp of breath right here, hanging in this execution chamber. Tonight, the paranormal team hopes to get his attention. Miles Cribbs, yeah, I'm talking to you. Are you a prisoner of the jail down here? This thing's going crazy. Look, 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 look. I, it don't ever go up that way. Can you say that again? I'm not leaving. Take two meters lighting up. We appreciate that. Light that meter up again. Can you give me another initial? These folks admit that what they do is considered strange by some people, but that doesn't shake their confidence in what they believe. I'd like to take everybody and everybody into one haunted place one time and show them exactly what we do. Mm. Okay, so any volunteers? No. So <laughs> And Christina is so you know positive. I'm a scaredy cat. You know that. That's why you asked that. She is so upbeat. She was saying, well, Greg, that building is beautiful. It doesn't look like it used to be mm -hmm. prison. And it really doesn't. When mm -hmm. you drive down the road, it looks like a, just an older yeah. home that's been restored. But then get a little closer and you'll see the signs uh -huh. for the Crime and Punishment Museum. Yeah, a so. new still inside. Yes. No, thank you. <laughs> you can have your pretty Victorian-looking house. <laughs> thanks. Great story. Right, thanks, Always Christina. Fun. All right. So.